Hey guys, Robbie Webster here, and today I'm actually going to be participating in Luke Ryan's Akira Kurosawa um, Appreciation Night. So, let's get started. Um, I was going to originally do like a big epic video, but that's just not going to work out for me. Um, really, the only way I'm going to be able to do it is just to do it sort of in a relaxed way and do it on the one night that I'm actually going to be free. So, um, right now it's actually getting to be kind of late. It's 9 o'clock. Hannah is down already in bed because she was really tired. And I'm, of course, not ready to go to bed yet. So I'm going to be watching at least two. I'm going to try to watch two of the movies tonight. And then I'm going to do another movie tomorrow night so that I'll get the three films. But um, let me just check real quick what the criteria were for his for this video um, that he laid out in his video. I'm pretty sure what I'm supposed to do is watch three movies that I haven't seen before because that's the category I fall into. But I'll explain all the categories to you again. And I'll also leave a link to his original video down below. Okay, so here are the categories for the um, Akira Kurosawa Appreciation Night video if you wish to participate. And I definitely recommend that if you have a camera, if you make videos on here, if you are part of the YouTube movie community, please take part in this. It's going to be fun for you and you're probably going to discover some films that you've never seen before, which is always a great thing. And these are some really great films. So the first category is if you've never seen any Akira Kurosawa films, you can watch two movies and one of them has to be Seven Samurai, which um, from all the ones that I've seen, that's his greatest film. I think a lot of people consider that to be his greatest film. So you definitely want to see that. It is quite long, but totally worth watching. And if you only have to watch two movies, this challenge is going to be a breeze. You're going to love that film. I, I highly recommend it. So that's category A. Okay, in category B, which is the one that I fall into, you can watch three Akira Kurosawa films, but two of them should be movies that you have never seen before. So for me, I mean, I've seen a few of his films, not many, but I love him, and he has a lot of movies. So instead of watching one that I have seen and two that I haven't seen, I'm actually going to try to watch three that I've never seen. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. But if you are if you fall into this category where you like Kira Kurosawa but you just haven't seen all of his movies, then definitely, you know, do whatever you like. If you want to watch one that you love and then two that you've never seen, that's fine. That, that works perfectly. Actually, I'm sure you could pretty much do whatever you want. I'm sure Luke's not going to, you know, fault you for that. You Just do whatever is fun for you. Just This is just meant to be a night where we all watch a Kira Kurosawa movies. So that's category B. Okay, and category C is a category that is for people who have seen every film that Akira Kurosawa has made. And if you're one of those people, just pick your top three favorite and watch those. And we just do a little review, or it doesn't have to be anything serious. Just enjoy the night and just make a little video about it. So that's what I'm going to do. And Luke encourages us to show, you know, what kind of food and everything you're, you're going to eat and all that kind of stuff. Well, I'm actually upstairs in, like, my little office-type area. It's actually in a hallway. Um, is where I keep my desk up in the new house. And, um, yeah, so it's it's kind of messy up here. I have to warn you about that first because I'm still in the process of unpacking. I just unpacked a whole bunch of my computer stuff. Plus, I have a lot of movies that have come from Amazon. And I just, all the rest of my movies are kind of packed away. So I'll show you right now what I'm going to be watching. I have the Akira Kurosawa 25 films, the AK-100 Criterion set, which has 25 movies in it. And like you can see, all this rubbish I have piled on my, my chair here. This isn't where these recliners are going to go, but the media room is actually right there. I can't show you much of it, but you can see the floor. There's actually going to be new carpeting getting put in, so that's why these chairs aren't in there yet. So here's the movies I have to choose from right here. And I actually haven't thought about which ones I'm going to watch, but I know for a fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I... Someone rec highly recommended one of these two, and I can't remember which one it is. One is The Idiot, and the other is Ikuru. I think that's how you say it. So I'm going to just watch both of those, because I'm not sure which one they actually recommended. 
And then I'm also going to watch, I think I'm going to watch, hmm, I don't know. I am not sure which one to watch. I'll leave the last one as a surprise. I actually also have a couple of Blu-rays of his that I haven't seen. I have already seen Seven Samurai. I've seen Yojimbo and Sanjuro and High and Low. And I love all those. But I really want to watch three that I've never seen before. So I think since these two are both not samurai movies, I think I'll make the third choice a samurai movie. So I'll choose that later on. So the first one I'm going to watch is Ikiru. And I'll show you what I have to eat. I was going to originally eat dinner while I, while I played the movie. But instead, I ended up going out to dinner with Hannah tonight. We went to Longhorn. And so we both ordered a dessert to take home. So I figure I'll eat my dessert while I watch the movie. So right here, this is called the Top of the Mountain Cheesecake. And it's a New York style cheesecake. So um, it kind of doesn't look as good inside of this box. But it has like whipped cream down there. And this is like strawberry sauce. So yeah, I'm looking forward to enjoying this. And for some reason, I grabbed a spoon instead of a fork. But it'll work. So yeah, looking forward to starting this night out. As you can see right here, I was out watching uh, Luke's video, and I was also working on uh, editing a, a real simple video in w Windows Movie Maker. So yeah, let's watch these movies. I'm going to watch them all on my computer tonight so that I'm not bothering Hannah downstairs while she's trying to sleep, because uh, um, the living room is right next to the, uh, the master bedroom, so I didn't want to disturb her while she's trying to sleep. So yeah, let's get this started. And this is a 1952 film. Once again, it's called Ikuru, and it's just over two hours long. So, getting the movie started, and we've got some cheesecake right here. I put the strawberry sauce on it and a little bit of whipped cream. So let's try a bite of this. Looks delicious. Mmm. Do you want some? Mm. Delicious, absolutely phenomenal. That's really good cheesecake. Okay, so I've just finished watching Ikiru, and I thought it was a very powerful film. Um, the movie is about uh, a man, he's a low level bureaucrat, and uh, it's I think it's um, after World War II Japan, but I think the the country is still occupied. So, um, so what he does is, what happens is this man he finds out that he has stomach cancer, and that he only has a few months left to live, and he decides to start using his position um, in government to try to help people, and so that's what the movie's kind of about, and it's also about. Um, his family and people that knew him, like, struggling to understand what he actually did. And um, I thought it was very powerful and very good. And what I decided to do is, because I'm starting to get really tired already, is I'm going to split this up into three nights. And I might put all the video, I might make it just one video, or I might make it three separate videos. They'll probably be kind of short videos, but that's okay. I don't, I don't really mind that. So I think I will probably make them three short videos. But um, what I have right here is this is a hardcover book that came with the uh, Akira Kurosawa set that I showed you earlier. And um, there is a like an essay written um, for each film. So I've, I'm going to read you the essay, but don't watch this part of the video unless you've already seen Akira. So, so um, you can come back if you want to see this, this essay because it does give away um, some of the plot points that um, you kind of, they're kind of a shock when they happen in the movie, so you don't really want to know it unless you've already seen it. So, spoiler alert, do, do not watch this part of the video unless you've already seen the movie. So, let me just flip to the right page.
Okay, here it is. So you can see it says Akiro 1952. And there's a shot from the film. Uh, this is a scene when uh, one of the, the the other patients at the hospital is telling him that the do if the doctor tells you that you have a mild ulcer and that you're going to be okay, that you really actually have stomach cancer. So he says basically the doctor's going to lie to you and you really have stomach cancer. And over here they have like a list of the cast and some other credits. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not. Probably not. But I'm going to read the essay to you guys. So yeah, it says... Ikiru is the climax of the series of films. Okay, let me put the camera over here because it's kind of hard to read it. And I'll just read to you. Ikiru is the climax of the series of films Kurosawa had been making about post-war Japan during the Allied occupation. It also returned Kurosawa to the critical success he had enjoyed prior to The Idiot. And it brought him back home to Toho after years sojourning at other studios. Based on Tolstoy's The Death of Ivan Illich, I don't know what, how to say that name. Um, Kurosawa's story poses a simple but devastating question. If you had only a few months to live, what would you do? Kanji Watanabe is a lowly bureaucrat who learns he has stomach cancer, one of Japan's great killers of this period. As his end approaches, he decides to use his job to help others whom society has neglected. In Akiru and his subsequent film Seven Samurai, Kurosawa gave... Takashi Shimura, the greatest roles of his career, and the actor beautifully exemplifies these noble heroes. Ikiru is one of Kurosawa's most radical experiments with narrative form. Screenwriter Hideo Oguni insisted that Watanabe die midway through the movie, and Kurosawa embraced this innovation to give the film a dialectual structure. Part 1 shows us Watanabe's slow path towards enlightenment, and part two, focusing on his funeral wake, shows the utter inability of his family, friends, and colleagues to understand his accomplishment in building a park for slum children. Kurosawa thus counterpoints Watanabe's heroic saga with a dark portrait of society's inability to change. As Japan was embarked on its great economic boom, Kurosawa's tragic sensibility seemed to deepen. Ikiru offers an unsparing portrait of Japan's middle generation personified by Watanabe's son and his son's wife, who were the great beneficiaries of the boom, but who Kurosawa believed were overly materialistic. Watanabe thought, in this film's heart, through him, Kurosawa... Okay, sorry, I, I misread that. It says, Watanabe, though, in, this, in the film's heart, through him, Kurosawa makes one of his supreme statements about the worth of the individual. So yeah, that's like a mouthful right there, but it really is just a great essay, so I really wanted to read that to the people that don't have this available to them. I highly recommend, if you're a Kira Kurosawa fan, you've got to try to get your hands on this set someday. It's kind of pricey, but it's totally worth it. I'm so glad I have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and look out for part two.